Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks for joining me today. I have a fun inky card today using some visible image products. And this project, or this card, has lots of ink and lots of lovely texture. Um, so I hope you stay tuned and watch the video. Um, this was really fun to create. Um, I am using the Rise and Shine stamp set from Visible Image as well as the collision stencil. I think they go perfectly together um, and the collision stencil is really cool. You'll see uh, when I add some paste um, and kind of get that to heat up, um, it creates these really cool valleys in the um, design and so it adds a whole bunch of texture. Um, I'm starting out with a kind of a scrap piece of watercolor paper. Um, I do end up cutting it down to four and a quarter by five and a half after I've um, I completed my card Hard. but um, I went ahead and I taped that stencil down and I am using this Eileen's Glitter Snow, um, a perfect for the upcoming Christmas cards. It's got a really nice texture to it. It's nice and smooth um, and it's really easy to clean up actually as well, uh, but it's got this really kind of subtle, beautiful um, glitter effect in it. Um, I ended up covering most of it up, uh, but I thought I'd go ahead and try uh, just one of those items in my stash that I hadn't pulled out in a very long time. And so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, give it a try today. So hopefully you can see all of that really pretty glitter in there. And then I'm going to take my heat tool and um, heat this up. The directions for this glitter snow say to let it dry for 24 hours. Of course, I couldn't do that. And so um, I went ahead and I took my heat tool and in all of the thicker areas where that paste is, um, it makes these really beautiful kind of puffy clouds almost. Um, and then I'm gonna cover this up with some distress spray. And I'm using Prize Ribbon, Mermaid Lagoon, and Salty Ocean. And if I had really thought about it, I would have started with the lighter colors and then put the darker color in the center. Uh, but instead I started with the darker color and it kind of didn't matter what other colors I put on that because that darker color kind of just hit everything else. So um, if I were gonna do this again, I would start with the lighter colors first and then add that darker color in the middle um, to get more of those other, other colors to show through. But I'm just spritzing this and you can see um, because that paste is raised, um, how beautiful the kind of lines and the texture um, from that stencil show up and it just creates a really pretty pattern um, and a great backdrop for the um, sun stamp set, which I'm going um, to use here in a minute. Uh, but I just went ahead and I worked this to get the um, colors how I wanted and I blotted up a little bit and then I resprayed <laughs> to get um, more of that blue on there. And then I will go ahead and dry um, this a little bit more with my heat tool and clean up my space. And then I was trying to add a little bit more shine to the backgrounds. Um, I really wanted a really shiny kind of celestial background. Um, and so I grabbed this Ken Oliver Liquid Sparkle. Again, another product that I have sitting there that I don't hardly use. And so I pulled that out. Um, it's kind of hard to show across the camera. It adds a little bit of sparkle, um, but I probably would have been better off actually using one of the glitter sprays uh, to get um, even more of that sparkle to shine through. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and I have stamped up the Rise and Shine stamp, um, the sun stamp from that set with some Versafine Black. And this is watercolor paper. And a lot of times on watercolor paper, you need to um, stamp several times just because there is a little bit of texture if you're using a cold press watercolor paper. And so I did have to stamp that up several times, but um, as you can see, I think the image came out really beautifully. Um, and I am using some pixie powders in Mango Blaze and Burnt Orange to color the sun. And then I'm going to use one of the Nouveau um, Shimmer powders 
Um, I don't know if that's what it's called, but it is the color Violet Brocade. Um, and I wanted this to mainly be around the outside of the face, so more on kind of the sun rays rather than that um, middle circle piece. And so I'm just gonna um, put that powder on my mat and activate that with water and then take a paintbrush and um, add that color all around and kind of move it a little bit, spritz it a little bit until I get the color um, how I want it. And a little bit of that color goes into the face of the sun, which I am fine with. Um, I do go back over that center the center of the sun with some more of the um, mango blaze color to brighten that back up and um, I wish I had left the stamp in my stamping platform when I stamped this um, I would have loved to get those lines um, back to um, a little more darker and crisper um, the black lines of the stamp um, but I did not leave that in there so I would have loved to have restamped this just because all of that shine and glitter kind of fade out the um, ink a little bit um, not too much but I think it would be a lot more crisper um, if I had restamped that um, but once I have dried up my image I'm going to fussy cut that out and uh, super easy image to cut out. And then I just kept wanting to add everything to this. And so I added some of the uh, Winka Stella in an orange color um, to the lips. And then I also added some black Wink of Stella to the eyebrows. Uh, it's just one of those things where I was like, I wish I had done this, I wish I had done this. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that kind of card. Um, and I actually, I wasn't even sure if I was going to use this card, um, but I am trying really hard to just go with it. And if it doesn't work out exactly how I want, then it just doesn't work out. It's just a card. So, um, and I'm not saying that to be like, oh, it's just a card after all this hard work I put into it. But I really um, have been trying not to um, put so much pressure on myself to create um I guess in my eyes what I think is a perfect card and so um, I am happy with how this turned out and so I just decided to go ahead and go with it um, right now I am taking some liquid um, acrylic white ink and using those smaller stamps in the stamp set to um, add a little bit of white uh, around the card and then I'm also adding some white splatter and then to finish off the card, I've grabbed a bunch of silver thread uh, and I'm just wrapping that around my fingers to get a circular kind of shape uh, and then setting that down on my panel. And then I'm going to uh, take that sun and I've added a piece of foam to the back of that. Um, and just for a little extra um, adhesion, I'm going to add a little bit of liquid glue um, because there is so much texture on that background and then there is also the thread uh, that might um, have a hard time sticking that down and so I did add a little bit of uh, glue to help with that um, to adhere to the card and then I added the sentiment and outlined that with some black. I'm just going to add a few jewels to finish the card off. And that's going to finish off my card and my video for today. Um, I did let this card sit overnight and then came back to it to the next day. And I think that really helped with me kind of seeing that, you know, it is not so bad. And so I hope you enjoyed. Um, and if you did like this video or find it informative, I would love it if you would give a thumbs up. Um, as always, I thank you so much for um, hanging out with me today and for watching my videos. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much.